So first and second grade, after we finished reading Blue Daisy by Helen Frost and illustrated by Rob Shepperson, in the very back, and I think I showed this to you the last time, that's my oven saying it's ready, there is a recipe for dog biscuits. And I thought, you know what? My dog is almost out of her little bread crouton snacks that she has because the store's not open right now, so maybe we could make these. So I'm actually making a half batch of the biscuits from here. So I'm gonna mix in together one cup of whole wheat flour and two tablespoons of oats. And then we are going to put in one egg. Two tablespoons of oil. Now you can't use just any oil. They, meant, they recommend safflower oil, but I also looked up and they said olive oil was okay. And I had olive oil, but you want to check what kind of oil is okay for dogs. So two tablespoons of that oil. And then you can put in either water, and this is a quarter cup, or you can put in beef stock, it said. So I'm gonna put in water, but I'm going to add in this beef bouillon. So it's like a beef flavoring. And I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon of that in. I have to use the other side of the spoon, because it is tiny. All right, so. We've got some of that to give it like a flavor that the dog will like. I'm gonna throw these back in my sink. And then we're just gonna mix these up. It said to mix them up by hand. I am not gonna mix them up by hand, but I will mix them up with a spatula. All right. So basically what we're doing is we're making a dough just like you would make a dough for bread or something like that, or a cake dough. And it said it all should kind of be coming together. It seems, it said if it's a little dry, no, that's pretty good. So there is our dough when it's all done. And there's two things that they said we could do. So the one thing that we could do is we could um, roll it out with a rolling pin and then cut it out with like a cookie cutter and bake it that way. But to make it a little bit easier for me and a little bit less mess, what I'm gonna do, and the other thing it said you could do was roll these into little balls and then flatten them out with the bottom of something that's flat. I think they said like a cup. So my dog is really small, so I'm not gonna make these too big. I'm gonna make them about that big. And then I'm just going to press them so they make a flat little treat. And they don't look perfect, but my dog's not very picky. All right. I'm gonna make these and then I'll come back and um, show you what we'll do next. Okay, so I've got about 25 treats. They're all kind of the same size. And I am putting them in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. We'll see how they come out. Okay, so the biscuits are done. And we'll take them out. And they look pretty much the same. We'll let those cool down a little bit and we'll let Ellie try one. All right, so here's Ellie. Oh, and she knows I have a treat. So we're gonna see if she likes this new treat that we just made her. Oh, sit. She usually runs away with it. Let's see if she eats it.
Nope, she's going back for more. I think that's a winner. I think our treats are a hit.